I had so many great conversations over a cup of coffee. That's what blessed my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. Realize, it does have that. Yeah. You know, power. coffee's a really intimate thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, and cultural. Yep. Imagine changing someone's day with just a cup of coffee. It sounds simple, right? Welcome to Coffee Break Season Three. We sit down with strangers, share a coffee, and offer a listening ear. From homeless to passerby, everyone has a story. We pray with them and try to connect them with community programs and just show a little bit of kindness. Because sometimes all it takes is a small act to make a big difference. Join us and see how a simple coffee break can bring a world of change. Because you never know what can happen over a cup of coffee. What's your name again? Will. Will? It's nice to meet you, brother. And yours again? My name is Jonathan. John. And my yeah, boy behind the camera is Marcus. Marcus, yeah. I remember. And um, I just wanted to ask you a simple question. Like, what, what brought you to this place? To the place where you're at right now? What um, brought you there? Well, probably, probably mental health and drug addiction, mm. you know? Uh, single old mother, you know, welfare. Mm. Yeah, but then, you know, she did work also. And, you know, she worked, very good mother. Uh, I'm blessed to have my mother. Yeah. So, you Shout know. out to your moms. Right? Right? I'm out here right now. Um, okay. Me being born in California, and right now I have no ID. Um, that's got something to do with it, because I don't have my birth certificate to get my, but gotcha. I do have my social security card. Gotcha. Um, yeah, man, you know situations you know not all of them are uh my choice tomorrow i'm going to this place c car and calling 211 and figuring stuff out they help uh i don't know you're gonna try yeah, out tomorrow. yeah you know what i mean with these places you never know if they're gonna help you um just keep pointing you in loop de loops yep um yeah unfortunately everything's a popularity contest when it comes down to uh placing someone in a in housing, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean, it's you know what people see and what what their money is going towards. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's that, two different things. That that yeah. that is you're you're right about that, and that's what we're trying to do through these um through these interviews through these podcasts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not only is to hear a story, but also to be able to to find out ways of where we can plug people in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah to get the support, to get the help. There also comes a point in your life where you got to decide, okay, do I take the help or do I just keep doing, you know, and there's very few people, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a hit or miss. So whether you, some people do take the help and other people just reject the help and they just like being in the state that they're in maybe because it's a mental health issue, you know what I mean? Yeah. At that point that yeah. they can't see themselves or that, growing. That, or, yeah, exactly. They're you know? stuck in a loop, yep. constant loop. But yeah. and then I see what you just said, you're talking about a loop in the system which will yeah. keep you back and forth, back and forth. And that's, we get that and we yeah. would like to, to... I'm a free man now. Right. No. So it's, that's why it's a lot harder to do things by yourself. Without, right. Yeah. You know, isn't that weird? Yeah. When they got their hooks in you, you, things go a lot smoother. And then when you're out there by yourself, I mean, yeah. no one wants to help. So yeah. That's how I feel. Right. And whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, yep. it's my opinion. You know? Yep. And that's what we want. We want to be able to, you know, some, yeah. sometimes even a chat over a cup of coffee, right? Yeah. And just expressing yourself in a way can give you a sense of freedom. Yeah, you know, because no, sometimes you don't got people that you can talk to and let them know. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm feeling like this right now, man. And yeah. not everybody understands, you know. Yeah. And not everybody wants to listen. And that's what sparked up this that we wanted to do these coffee break episodes. Um, be able to listen to stories. You know what I'm saying? Be able to listen to people's hearts and also find out different means through connections and, and friendships that we have to be able to plug you in, in, in different things that we can, you know, um, trying to plug you into, you know? Okay, cool. But, but first is about just, you know, seeing where you're at and how can, how can you get from here to here, right? From, right? from one place that you're at into a better place, you know? Okay. I'm not saying I'm gonna give you all the answers and that I'm no, gonna, no, no, I'm no, your no. end all be all type of thing. No. But if, if we can hear your story and, and people can hear, you know what I'm saying, like what you're dealing with, then we could get a lot of eyes on, on yeah, support yeah. and on help. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I guess uh, it probably started, you know, when, uh, you know, I didn't know my father. I never met him. So, mm. 
kind of was born with uh, abandonment issues, I guess, because that's always been a problem yep. in my life um, mm. where I push people away yeah, or I'll hang on too tight. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, just I guess the fear of being alone and, you know, yeah. Just being rejected. Yeah, I, I know that's a lot of pro- people's problems mm-hmm. in uh, society right now. Yep, is being rejected or being yep. accepted. Um, right now, I know that it's about accepting yourself. Um, cares what people think, even though we all do. Right, we're definitely we all do. Yep, you know, who am I kidding? I do. You know what I mean? But in the end of everything, it's really what you think about yourself and. People are going to always hate on you. Yep. And people are always going to lie on you. Right. You know what I mean? And no one's going to really know the truth. Right. Right? There's always three sides of a story. So my story is that my father wasn't around. All right? Uh, My mother, she didn't didn't do drugs. She's scared to take Tylenol. Mm. Mom's an awesome lady. You know, we're a lot alike, uh, me and my mother. So, uh, you know, she had a hard time raising us, so she kind of went wherever the money was. I was born in California. Okay. I lived in Idaho. I've lived in uh, South Dakota. I've lived in Colorado. I've lived here. Mm. You know, I've lived, I've lived a, lot, a lot of different places in the United States. Yeah. A little bit of time in Billings, Montana. Um, so you've but, been around? Yeah, been, yeah, I've been around. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm used to running from my problems. I guess that's, that's, a, that, that, that's that. a big thing, yep. you know, um, a theme in my life, mm. you know, starting with my mother. Run away from your problems instead of fixing them, right? Yep. Uh, so I'm learning that right yeah. now. Uh, it's a, it was a fresh start and I'm still on my fresh start. It's not like yeah. I've been on the streets this time for um, years, you yeah. know, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying. I do mess up sometimes, I'm, you know, being on the street, it's kind of hard. Temptations everywhere. You know what I mean? Everywhere. Yeah. It does not leave you, especially down in this town. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, you gotta get a little worried at night, you know? Yep. How are you going to close your eyes? Yeah. So it could be very tough now. But that's why you came to the right place at the right time. You know, you didn't think that you were going to end up having a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, having a chat. No. You know, but um, God knows, you know, where you're at in your life. And if you're alive today, that's another opportunity where the Lord allows us to, to have that opportunity to be like, wow, you know what? Like, you're there. You are hearing me. You are watching over me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I know and it is. God is so good and I gracious. I keep this by my heart, man. Oh, yeah? The Ten Commandments, huh? That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah you got to keep that close to the heart. You got to keep it close, you know? And then now it's just a matter of uh, uh, building a relationship with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and the thing is that people could abandon us. The Bible says that even if your mother or your father forsake you, the Lord will never forsake you. Yep. And, and that's something that we got to hold on to because it's a possibility that that will happen, you yeah. know? And you're a living testimony that that did happen, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, um, but it's so good to know that we have a loving father yeah. that fills the voids of those areas that are dark in our lives, right? And he fills those in when we allow him to. And once we allow him to fill those areas in, we don't have to feel rejected anymore. We don't have to feel that sense of abandonment anymore because we know that we found refuge in the Lord. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think that's where, I think that that's a, if there's anything that you're going to get tonight, right, or at this moment here, is that the Lord loves you so much that he desires to have a relationship with you to a whole nother level and that everything that you need, he'll open up the doors for you if you trust and you believe in him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Life isn't easy, bro. And we all yeah, go through, all, you know, our ups and downs, but God stays the same. He never changes. You know, Amen. we're the ones who go through different things. But Amen. I, I, I want to thank you though, 
for opening up your heart to us. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome. To just sharing a little bit of your of your story. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you guys, yeah. you guys for letting me do yeah. that. You know? Yeah, man. It was very, very cool, unique experience. Yeah, that's cool, and man. And I hope other people come and sit down and have no, coffee. No, most them. definitely, bro. And um, without all the coffee breaks, man. Ah, look at that. We want to we want to pray for yes, you. Yes, sir. All right? Let's do this. So, what's your name again, bro? Will. Will. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence, Lord, and I just thank you for Will, Father. Only you know his circumstance. Only you know his situations, Lord, Father God. Only you know the levels of abandonment that he has faced. But Father God, you are the one who can rescue. Yes. You are the one who can restore. You are the one who can revive. You are the one who can rebuild, Lord God. Jesus, all you are asking is our hearts and for us to be obedient to you and your word. So I just pray for Will right now, Lord Father God, that you may have your way in his life like never before, Lord God. Amen. You know that he has probably yes. run away from situations and, and from things that he has felt, Lord Father God, and dealt with, Lord. But I thank you, Lord Jesus, because we can surrender it all to you. Your word says, come to me, he who are weary and heavy burdened, and you will give rest. Lord Father God, I stand firm and believe on that word. And that's the word that we declare over his life right now, Lord Jesus. We declare over his mind, Lord Father God, peace. We declare over his body, peace, Lord Father God. And that everything that you want to do in his life, that it may come to fruition. Because what you started in him, Lord Father God, you will fulfill it, Lord. Father God, thank you for this moment. Thank you for this opportunity. Rescue him, Lord God, and open up the doors that he needs, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you. I hope to see you around again, man. Yeah, and we're definitely, definitely going to be sending out some, some support out here wherever we can.